After visiting various places in the states where the association has established its presence, the team arrived at the Apache Woza Cooperative Society in Asakyo, Lafia local government area. With a warm welcome from the group's 25 members who performed the Alago cultural dance, <laughs> it became evident that similar to other groups, the Apache Woza Cooperative Society had received orientation on proper record keeping and the implementation of modern agricultural practices, specifically in rice farming, as confirmed by the society's secretary, Abahia James. Mr. Sakawa has uh, improved our uh, stance. We are no longer the way we started before. They have introduced a method of farming to us that we should change from broadcasting to transplanting. Uh, we are talking about rice farming. So now we are, uh, we are practicing transplanting and seeing the differences in the year. Because the yields we've harvested this year is different from whatever we've been doing the previous time. In addition to providing training on organic manure production and modern farming techniques, the Sesaka Africa Association is also constructing an aggregation center for rice processing. During an interaction with members of the Anyawoza Multipurpose Cooperative Society in Lafia, the chairperson Hajaratu Oyeka expressed gratitude for the association's training in nutrition-sensitive agriculture and highlighted that the knowledge gained has resulted in increased income generation for the group. They have taught us in so many ways which have improved our staying, our moving, everything in the groups. That is why you can see how we have displayed all these things to enable us to go and uh, go forward, not to go backward. At the Sere Sere Multipurpose Cooperatives Association in Kondari, the group's leader, Halimo Abdullahi, affirmed that they have been trained in modern rice processing methods and have received processing machines, saying the interventions have significantly improved their livelihoods by ensuring food security. During a visit to the Nunku Women Farmers Cooperative Society, the group's chairman Ibrahim Hassan shared that after receiving training in modern farming techniques, they were also provided with farm inputs and a maize milling machine. We cultivated a large number of farms before the arrival without cultivating tangible output. But with the coming of Sasakawa, by giving us that 50 by 50 meters, in fact, we started it and we saw the, 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 I mean, the advantage of that 50 by 50. Given an overall assessment, State Coordinator Sasaka Africa Association, Salo Misabu, said the program is achieving the desired results. From Nunku, in Akwanga local government area, Serikabas reporting.